Have you ever wondered what happens to the human body after death? I study the fascinating process of vertebrate decomposition in different outdoor environments. So in this video, I'll explain to you the five major states of decay that the body will undergo after death. In forensic science, the decomposition stage of the body is often analysed when the body is discovered as it can help determine the time of death, which is also known as the postmortem interval. However, because the rate and duration as well as the onset of each stage is significantly altered by different environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity, it is necessary that we conduct research in different locations. The first stage begins almost instantly after death and complex chemical reactions will begin, such as autolysis, which is the breakdown of cells by intracellular enzymes. A number of early post-mortem changes are also visible at this stage. For example, alga mortis, where the body temperature reduces, rigor mortis, where the body's muscles stiffen, usually after four hours after death, and liver mortis, where the blood will accumulate in lower portions of the body and is visible as a purple or green discoloration. Blowflies can even lay eggs within just a few hours after finding a dead body. The breakdown of carbohydrates, proteins and lipids of the body's cells and tissues will result in the formation of hundreds of volatile organic compounds and gases such as carbon dioxide, ammonia and hydrogen sulphide. As these build up inside the body, it gives it an inflated appearance, whereby the body will enter the bloated stage. The eggs laid by the flowflies will then hatch into maggots which proceed to voraciously feed on the soft tissue of the body. During active stage, the carcass is often seen to be blanketed by a maggot mass, and eventually there is purging of internal decay fluids through the nose and the ears into the surrounding environment, and intense decomposition odours are present. As the maggots continue to rapidly feed on the body, this results in complete consumption of soft tissue, at which point the body will enter advanced decomposition. During advanced decay, most of the soft tissue is broken down and arthropod activity is minimal. Eventually, only bones, hard skin and hair remains and the body will enter the dry remain stage. The soil around and beneath a decomposing body forms a highly nutritious hotspot known as a cadaver decomposition island, which inhabits a large and diverse abundance of different invertebrate species such as flies, beetles and mites. By collecting the soil around the body, we can analyse which species of invertebrates are present as they can be used as forensic evidence in time of death estimations. So we've brought the soil back into the laboratory now and we're going to put them into the funnels. Uh, these are called Berlisse Talgrin funnels and it is an old method used to extract the microarthropods from soil. So we use 70% ethanol in small collection vials to preserve the, any arthropods that will fall in from the soil to the bottom and you'll see how it is. <laughs> And the soil will be placed into the top. It's about 300 ml of soil, and ethanol goes at the bottom, and the soil is placed on top. So this is then put under the lamps, so this is just a normal incandescent light bulb at 40 watts. It creates a temperature and light gradient at the top surface, which encourages the microarthropods to move from higher temperature area to um, more cooler and darker area at the bottom of the soil, and eventually they fall into the ethanol and uh, preserved and then we can examine them after approximately five days. So all the soil is now under the lamps and it will stay here for five days. So if you'd like to find out which forensic microarthropods are living around the dead body, like and subscribe and stay tuned for part two.
just what do you want to tell us about your day to day? French fries. <laughs> Just to get away from the universe distress. <laughs> <laughs>